Hey Aquarius, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Terry. Today we're delving into the next 48 hours, what to expect, okay? This can play out past, present, or future, so take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, okay? Timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. I have personals available, the link for that is down below in the description box. Also, you can always check out my playlist, okay, for additional collective reads, and as always, thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. Any support to the channel or the brand is greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and delve into next 48 hours for Aquarius. Aquarius, I just want to say you may need to ground yourself. To bend sound bowl is good for grounding. You can also... Um, Take off your shoes and walk on the bare grass. Okay, I don't know how open you are to doing things, you know, but um, that can also help. Some of you all may need to eat, okay, if you haven't eaten today. This is that sign. Go ahead and eat a little something. All right. Next 48 for Aquarius. Smash the like button if that's you. Here we have the sun card. Ooh, I almost want to drop that card. Do you sacrifice your happiness at times, Aquarius? I'm here in Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo or um, a Leo. Sun, moon, or rising. Hmm. This is that six of swords energy. It's like you want to fix your happiness. Mm, with the empress empress energy all right so some of you all smash that like button if you have children with someone okay it is coming in as that but i'm really getting that that's who you're dealing with is somebody you have children with but there is somebody else you want to deal with somebody else you want to make things right with okay i see you wanting to pursue someone else aquarius and i really feel like this read is going to tie into you following what makes you happy stop trying to make others happy i feel like that's a lesson you're going through next 48 hours hmm. five of swords in reverse it's like you're tired of this opposing energy this friction in your life you're tired of sacrificing your happiness you're tired of sacrificing being with someone else than the person that you really want to be with. That's what I see, Aquarius. I'm going to be honest. Queen of Pots here. It looks like you want to be with... This is either someone that is very intuitive. You know what I'm saying? Very nurturing. You feel like this would be the great person to nurture um, and co-parent with you. Like, not co-parent as being separate. But I mean, like, come in and blend a family with. You could have children. Okay, by someone else. This person could have children by someone else, but this is somebody that cooks good. This is somebody that is emotionally balanced. Could be a water sign, some moon horizon, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is somebody that is very nurturing. I feel like you want to choose this person. With the chariot here, you're needing to be brave when you do so, right? Going towards this person. Because this is what you really want. In some sense, um, Aquarius, I really feel like you're not sure if you deserve this. If you can have it. Really? You know? Trigger warning. This is Seven of Pentacles energy. Someone that is being patient. You're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to just handle my responsibilities. I'm going to try to line my ducks up, get them in a row, right? Line my ducks up in a row. And tend to this so I can be ready. It's a, it's a sense of being ready. But with the strength card here, it's almost a sense of you being strong enough and having confidence. It's about your confidence. Hmm. With the death card here, with the fate card. It's like you're being divinely guided to a two of cups situation. So what that means is you're being divinely guided to a soulmate energy. It's like no matter how much you lie to yourself or make or want to make others happy. I mean, 
sometimes you just, it's just going to get to that point where you're going to have to face your truth. And with the hermit energy, you're going to have to withdraw back from some people. Okay, I see you withdrawing from people. Remember I said Virgo energy, that's that hermit card. Okay, two major arcana, having strength to go within, but mainly about your happiness, this choice. The major arcana that's sticking out in this read, it highlights a lesson where someone is starting to follow their heart, letting their inner world um, be healed and be correct in their eyes, if that makes sense. And your reality plays out as such. So you have to be honest with yourself. You can't lie to yourself, in other words. And you're going to always face that lesson. You could have faced this lesson over and over again. Smash the like button if that's you. Here we have the judgment card. This is a judgment. I don't want to fight this anymore. I'm hearing, I don't want to do this anymore. I see you leaving someone. I see you really pulling back from a lot of people with a world card here. There's an energy of what simplifying. What was once complicated is about to get real fucking easy. But what do you choose? What do you decide? We all have free will, okay? But I see you exiting out of a cycle. I see expansion here, okay? Four of Wands energy. This is like that twin flame type energy, right? It also talks about stability, structure. You could be moving as well. You could be moving to a home. Um, you could be moving on from someone and gaining more stability within yourself, within oneself. Especially with the hermit card here, the strength, the hermit card and the four of wands. That strength and stability within oneself. Being brave enough and gaining confidence. Being prepared for this Two of Cups energy. It's almost the energy of mirroring oneself. Like maybe you're um, undergoing transformations that have to do with marrying, like uh, Mary, you know, like marrying, coupling your left and right hemispheres of your brain. Okay. Know that that is your masculine and feminine sides. All right. When you couple those two, you. Um, really delve into this higher consciousness state. And I feel like that is what you're going to gain by going within. And that in turn will prepare you for this union, okay? With the page of junk here, this is that page of wands energy. You speak, you're, on a, you're in a masculine energy, so you're going to speak on this. You're going to go back to your past. This is someone from your past that you're going back to that makes you happy. Like I said, it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, I also see Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Gemini. This is that Six of Pentacles energy. You want to go back to someone. You want to offer them equal give and take. Whereas before, you could have been a little withdrawn from them, a little aloof. That's the energy that I'm getting. And you could have pulled away from this person, not really being um, consistent, right? Mm. Six of Cups energy. So we have Six of Pentacles and Six of Cups. You're going back to the past to give equal give and take. You're giving an offer, a proposal to this person. And you're like, look, I promise to love you forever. This, that, and the next, da, 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 da. Remember what LL Cool J said on Halloween? <laughs> if you know, you know. Smash that like button. We also have the justice card. So you will receive justice. I mean, it is like some type of truth came out, okay? Um, why you couldn't give this person everything, you know, they may have found out about the person you was dealing with, the person you had children with. It's some type of energy around that, okay? But you will get justice for that. All of that will be cleared up with the page of feathers here. This is the energy of someone really um, studying a situation, really um, looking within it to gain an understanding of it so it's like the clearing of misunderstandings okay page of wands so that was actually page of pentacles i'm sorry this is a newer deck um those of you all that are interested it's the labyrinth okay it's one of my favorite movies 
um, smash that like button if you're familiar with that. But so to say, um, it is calling that energy out. All right. So page of wands does end up coming out, but it's like this page of pentacles energy where at first you want to let this person know that you can offer consistency you can offer stability and this person they are going to judge you they are going to look within but they're going to find that it's okay in the end all right this is that seven of wands energy this is someone that's guarded i feel like you're guarded as well four of pentacles um because of what you held back from this person but at the same time This is that eight of cups energy where I see you legitly walking away from a situation. So you're not with this person anymore. Four of swords. And you're recovering from walking away from them. Mm. Let me get one more. Some of you all have weighed the fact, like the option you've thought about it. Smash that like button if that's you. Where like, fuck, should I just talk to both of them? You know, I really could pull this off in a way, right? But at the same time, I'm really getting that um, four of pentacles. You're going to hold back. I really feel like this is the lesson being learned with the moon card here. What's hidden is someone still has their guards up. I feel like this someone is you. Queen of pots. Wow. The feminine energy that you're pursuing, they have their guards up. That's what you don't see. Eight of Wands. So this person is going to play hard to get. What you don't see in the next 48 hours when you're pursuing this person, Aquarius, they're going to play hard to get. I'm not going to make it easy for you, especially if you're messaging this person like text messaging, DMing, and something like that. Their energy... It says, highlights your fear of self-empowerment and, and, and the changes it would bring to your life. A saboteur, this is somebody that will highlight the things that you need to change within yourself, Aquarius. Like, they're going to be very upfront with you, okay? Induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. So this is somebody, um, very passionate energy. Could be a Leo, heavy energy on Leo. Um, but this is somebody that they can highlight things within you to set you free from toxicities. But at the same time, if this person gets triggered, they can really delve into that the opposite way. Okay, with the victim card here, it says prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. So this is somebody like, stop playing the victim. They're going to call you out. This person can't help it. Okay, so you better have some tough skin. That's what this is saying. It says playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity. Inability to maintain personal boundaries. So like I said, this person has their boundaries up, right? But at the same time, they're going to play victim. That's how they're going to play victim is by um, having these boundaries up. But they're going to be like, why are you acting like this? Why are you, you know, so just I'm going to just say, be prepared to have this person uh, kind of be a little cutthroat or just be hard to pursue. OK, with the scribe here, it says preserving knowledge and information. OK, this is somebody that is very fucking smart. OK. Altering facts or plagiarizing others work. So this so this is somebody that is very cunning. OK, they could easily turn your words against you. All right. So look, just just hold on to your ass, Aquarius, when you go to pursue this person in the next 48 hours. OK, know what to expect. Here we have the rescuer. It says, provide strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. So this is somebody that the reason why their guards are up like this, the reason why they have this mechanism about them, right, is because they are always saving others. This is not the type of person that is used to being saved. This is a secret. OK, you can use this. All right. <laughs> Some of y'all I'm hearing don't save her. I don't know why. OK. OK, I'm mad my business assumes that the rescue will reciprocate 
keeps the rescue one needy. This is somebody that they're going to continuously like make sure you straight in hopes that you're going to hold on to them tighter. Okay. This is, it's like a hurt though, too, if you really see it for what it is, you know, this person hasn't had anyone to match their energy. Okay. It says Hadanis inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates beauty in yourself. This is somebody deep down inside beyond these layers, right? Like a fucking onion, right? It's so funny because it's like this person. Remember, I'm like, this person is studying. Look, it's like they're studying an onion. Okay. Um, this person brings out creativity in others. This is somebody that is very kind hearted, a free spirit. This person is really the empress, you know, but they keep it very hidden. This person keeps themselves protected in ways you may not see at first. You may think this person is not as smart as they are, but they are. They just protect themselves in ways we don't see right off bat. If you're, you know, if you're used to dealing with ordinary people, not to say it like that, you know what I mean? But this is somebody that is like calculated in ways to protect themselves so you won't even think this person goes beyond like it's almost like they know what you're thinking this person is very um psychic they have a keen fucking intuition and then they use that coupled with logic this is somebody remember when we were talking about the mirroring the coupling of the left and right hemispheres of their brain that's this person they've done it okay it says, pursues pleasure to the determine of health, indulges at the expense of others. This is somebody, you know, when it's a good time, it's a good time, and they're going to indulge in it, okay? And for a lot of them, because they don't get that many moments like that. This is a very reserved person, benounced to anyone else, regardless of what anyone else thinks. See, light attributes and shadow attributes. When you really think about it, you don't know shit about this person. When you really think about it, because they really protect that aspect of themselves. So that's something that you can use. I don't want to say use to your advantage, but use to your discernment. Use it as ways to know how to pursue this person if you're really trying to pursue them. Okay, I want to know what is Aquarius's energy towards this person? The dog. Okay, this is the Ten of Cups energy. You're very loyal to this person. You want this person. Like you, every time it's like something keeps pulling me back to this person, right? You're loyal to them. You want them. With a the sickle card here, this is that um, Knight of Pentacles. Low key, you've been cutting everybody else off. Slowly but surely, you've been cutting everything and everybody else off that pulls you away from this person. You could have just been not really facing um, your inner energy, your inner truth. Yeah. With the Ace of Cups energy, you're looking to the future with this person. This is the masculine energy. This is you. You're in an action-oriented energy, whether you are male or a female. But this is saying you're looking to the future and you want to pursue this person with the Ace of Cups. It's like this is the divine love that I have from God. This is what love is. I'm hearing. So this is love. Mm -hmm. Here we have the seven of cups. You're tired of illusions. You're tired of things that look like something and they're not that. You want real stability. You may even want to get married with this person. You may want children with this person. You, want, you may want to move in with this person and get a home together. I really see home life here. The bottom deck is ace of wands, a new beginning with a feminine energy. This is the person you're pursuing. There is that home, right, that I really see in the future for some of you. Smash that like button if that's you. Smash that like button if this is already taking place. But this is that eight of pentacles energy where you continuously give consistency, right? Lastly, it comes out. We have the house. And not only that, this is the king of hearts, the king of cups. This is the counterpart to the queen of cups, right? Now, you could have water somewhere aspected in your chart, Aquarius. Highly. I'm hearing some of you, Venus, if you're familiar with your birth chart, smash that like button if that's you. 
or rising or moon. Okay, um, but this is that stability that you want to offer this person, and I feel like you will. Okay, flip it or switch it if you need to, how it resonates for you, it, it, only if it resonates. So what can open up your abundance? Let's see what fell on the floor. We have comfort, because that's what I feel like you really want. You want comfort. I really see that home life for you, okay? It says, though you're not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state of balance. Excuse my nail. This wanted to pop out. Take action. Yes. Whatever your question is telling you to go for it. Okay. Whatever your question, this is telling you to go for it. Do not procrastinate or wait to take the next step to get ahead. Just do it. All right. Nothing will change if you don't take action. Don't let the opportunity pass by. This is going to open you to abundance. All right. Open your abundance. Right. Because look, if you're going against your inner world, if you're going against something that really makes you happy internally, that cause a blockage. Right. In your energy and your energy needs to be fro free flowing your ashe needs to flow in order to pick up that abundance right and then we have growth when you let this happen when you start allow things to happen in your life this is that feminine energy within you when you allow those blessings to come to you because you've done the work you've you've made the actions you've done the actions that you need to get you closer to that manifestation to get you closer to that reality right it says expect good news and money matters a raise or new job offer it says money will soon start flowing to your business promising opportunities awaiting the bottom deck we have is unstable. See, that's what I'm saying. Things may not be stable right now, but know what you're moving towards. Comfort, growth, but it happens after you take action. It says there have been a lot of ups and downs with your finances, money coming in fast and going out just as quickly. Fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finances right where things were once unstable, they're definitely going to shift and it says mechanic. Mend what needs mending. It may be broken, but all is not lost. Consider careers as a mechanic in automotive, aerospace, or repair technician. It says you have the ability to easily fix your finances, but a sacrifice may be needed. Lastly, stability, because that's what you're going towards, Aquarius, right? In the next 48 hours, your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Excellent time to take action, right? On any money-related ventures. So Aquarius, if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.